time now for sports. And Adriana star striker Yaya Mohamed, who admits his close competitor in the Ghana Premier League race, Victorian Adebayo, is giving him sleepless nights, but he is enjoying the challenge. Yaya, who turned 32 on Sunday, took a commanding lead after netting a hat trick on the first day of the season. But Adebayo's consistency has seen him catch up. We're close to the halfway line of the Ghana Premier League, but I must tell you, the competition is certainly moving notches up, and there's a lot to come. Well, we know Victor Adebayo has managed to score 10 goals in nine games. There's a close challenger in Yaya Mohamed, who is probably the most experienced player in the Ghana Premier League. He's been playing since 2005. I've just come down here to the Adriana Stars Hotel to see if we can talk to him and get one or two from him. Let's get in now. He's arguably the most experienced player in generation Ghana Premier League. Since besting on the scene in 2005, he has never looked back. And even though he has been placed in a pack of relatively younger and inexperienced footballers, his prowess cannot be questioned. Uh, I'll give the thanks to Almighty God uh, because, uh, as you are, you are saying, it's a very long, long time. But if you're a footballer and you take care of yourself and your body, I think you can play and play and you choose when you will stop football. So, But uh, as a footballer, you have to know what you take in and what is coming out. As you are a footballer, you choose to be a footballer. You have to know what you are going to take. Find nobody is stopping you to take alcohol or to, be, to have a girlfriend or wife, nobody is going to stop you. But too much of everything is bad. If you know your diet, when you sleep, the time you sleep, and everything, those things, petty, petty things, affect a lot of footballers. And you have to open your eyes where you play, because some of our pitches in Africa here can injure you forever. Mm. forever. Well, that's two against the crossbar. What a delightful strike that was. It's a lot of power and a lot of accuracy. Applied his trade in many Ghana Premier League clubs, including Tema Youth, Real Tamale United, Wa All Stars, Giants Asante Kotoko, Amidias Professionals, and now Adriana Stars. His secret? Staying true to the tenets of a true professional. Well, like anywhere you go, you have to showcase yourself to the people that you, 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 you are playing, you are working with. Let them know you, let them know that you are here. When I was in Kotoko, I let everybody know I'm here at probably Kumasi. So that's what I'm doing. I have to work out for the Doma people to know that I'm here. They didn't brought me from all the way from Tema to come and count people in Doma <laughs> or count their cars. Yeah. They, they bring me here purposely for football. So what do you have to do? I have to play for them. I have to kill myself for them, for them to know that I am here. So that's all that I'm That's doing. exactly what is it. Yaya Mohamed has set the 2019-2020 season ablaze, scoring goals for fun, snatched the Player of the Month award in January, and is now joint top scorer alongside Inter Allies winger Victorian Adebayo. Yaya Mohamed has 10 goals in as many games, but his coach W. Otando says Yaya is not appreciated. Mm. Is that uh, when you are old in the system, they feel you are worn out, which is not good. Yaya had been in the system for long, and so people should not write them uh, out. When the leaf is about to fitter, that's where it produces more. So Yaya is drying up and he's bringing out the best out of him. So this is the time that everybody should respect Yaya Mohamed, the best out of him. And he's showing it. He can still play football for the next uh, seven years if he has strength, if he will uh, remain disciplined, if you remain tactful with training and take everything serious except illness, which we don't pray for, uh, and the strength that he doesn't get injured. And I know that he can give and give more when uh, the list is always expected. So everybody should look out for Yaya. Midfielders Paul Adu and Elvis Opoku are his closest pals in camp and are able to express better his worth. I met Yaya 2006 when I was uh, in Hazakaris and I moved to Tema with uh, Temayu. And I was with Yaya in the same house, which he was a very good friend, very good guy. Uh, he's, he's my senior brother as well. So, uh, yeah, 
became my friend when uh, I was, uh, let's say, although I was praying for Ezekiel, but I wasn't that mature. Mm. So it was Aya who was encouraging me to move here, do this, do that. He was guiding me. And I really appreciate that. Every player, you need a best friend. And Yaya, in the team, Yaya is uh, my very, very close friend and uh, my best friend also. Mm. Uh, the way he scores his goals, it surprises me. And sometimes when he's not in the game, he's not uh, playing well, I go to him and say, hey, guy, uh, we need to uh, win the, uh, the league or we need to win the match. So we have to uh, back up and score a goal. And, a deliver. So it appears to be a head-on battle between Yaya Mohamed of Adriana Stars and Victoria Nadebaya of Inter Allies. First, the fight for the player of the month in February, goal king race and the most valuable player at the end of the season. Yaya Mohamed is very much aware of this challenge. Victoria Nadebaya from Inter Allies who is, who is doing all he can do for Inter Allies. He's now scored like 10 goals in um, 9 games. Does that put pressure on you in any way? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. To be frank, uh, I will tell you the truth. Yesterday, he gave me sleepless night because <laughs> he scored two goals. And he's a very good player, and, and uh, he has to do more because he's a foreigner. Mm. When you travel outside there, you cannot play the same as the local players. Yes. You have to play above them yes. because you are from outside. Your everything, your salary, your everything, your treatment is different from the local players. So what he's doing, I understand him, mm. and he's a very good player. You have to keep it up. You don't have to be sweet. That no. If I'm not there, the team is not scoring, so I will just uh, relax. relax. If you relax, you have Mohamed is behind you. <laughs> you it's a of... challenge, it's yeah. a challenge, and I like the challenge. It's going to make me strong and work hard to mm. overcome him. And But uh, we have uh, almost about 20 something matches Much to, to play, so we have a long way to go. Well, that's good. Yaya Mohamed looks to Zlatan Ibrahimovic for motivation, so surely there's more to come from the striker with braids. And if he needed anyone to push him, Victoria Nadebayo is more than able. So while well, as uh, Yaya Mohamed admits, there's still quite some way to go and some more matches to be played. So let's get on to, let's look at the, uh, the goal king race as it stands now. We have uh, Victoria Nadebayo and uh, Yaya Mohamed. And then Midyama FC Prince Ajimang, Bechem United Prince uh, Kwabana. Kim Faisal, Amina Sharks, Liberty, and then Accra Hatofo. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, a Kotoko player featuring in uh, the Gokin race so far. Apparently, all they have to their credit will be one goals, two goals, one goals, two goals. Um, but that's it. And uh, we'll see how the rest uh, of, uh, of the season pans out.